Hey all, welcome back to the shop. I figured I'd do a short little video on a project I just finished up, or I'm considering it finished for now anyhow. I was showing a few pictures on Instagram of my progress, but I didn't video any of the in progress work, but uh, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you'll uh, already seen some of the stuff, but uh, let me show you what I uh, built here in the last couple of weeks. So I find I like to uh, we'll do a lot of metal work and I hate the grinder so I decided to build myself a, a 2x72 style belt uh, grinder and I had an old treadmill that I got from a previous project that was scrapped so I uh, used that and uh, as the motor and that and a bunch of other bits and pieces and I built myself a grinder now uh, can say this is a 2x72 these belts are these are 80 grit and a lot of this is metal I had around I had to buy this this is 2 inch tubing square tubing I don't know what exact wall thickness is it, it is maybe 188 or whatever and then this stuff is one and a half inch and it didn't quite fit right so I had to do some uh, tweaking a little bit especially up here so to make it fit but uh, in any case it uh, turned out pretty good this is a like I say a DC treadmill motor uh, I don't know if you can see in there with 6500 rpm to a two and a quarter horse I think that's a real horsepower rating as well so I uh, scavenged that and these are uh, all longboard wheels that I had on a, a longboard of mine and they're two inches wide so they worked out oops, sorry worked out pretty good and what else is there to tell you I guess say all this is homebrew or some angle iron here for the platen platen however you pronounce it to have a thing to grind against I could take that off so the belt moves to do some slack or belt grinding I guess you'd call it and it's also this whole assembly is slotted a half circle so I could pivot it as needed and uh, what else here I could say the control board is in there this is a box I scavenged from my uh, vocational school days way back when and uh, I repurposed it so it's got the controller board in there a rheostat to control the speed a 15 amp fuse and an on off switch and unfortunately I couldn't fit this uh, inductor in there I think the reason for this inductor it's in line with the motor because the uh, control board that they used here doesn't uh, can't handle the load of just the motor it's too low of an impedance or uh, inductance or whatever so they put this big choke in place it looks like a transformer but it's not it's just a big inductor so figured I'd better use that. It's kind of rusty because the old treadmill was sitting outside for a few years but uh, still works and I just covered it in some hack electrical tape just to keep the uh, windings from getting touched and what else? Oh, uh, now with these tensions pretty pretty tight and most of the ones you see they have like a spring on an arm or whatever but what I did on this one is inside here is one of those uh, gas struts sort of things that used to hold up uh, car hoods or hatches or whatever and that's the reason for where is it I just put some eyelets on and these the eyelets are held by these bolts so when I want to change a belt I have to loosen this off because I put this on here just to take up this slack to get everything get this one and a half inch tubing squared up in this two inch so you just uh, undo this Allen wrench leftover Allen wrenches as handles but you undo that let's see if I can do this one handed and let's see here I might put an arm on here to make it easier to push but just uh, push down and that's spring loaded and then you can pop the belt off now I would have screwed up my alignment but uh, whatever so then you can change belts for different grits I only have one grit right now and then as well you can see this is a little bit wonky this pivots 
that's what and this screw here runs through sorry bolt that pushes up against this to allow let's see oh I got a jam nut on there oh boy I got a jam nut just hold on a sec go and grab a uh, metric wrench loosen off that jam nut there we go now what this is for is to set the belt tracking to move it in and out so uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll throw you up on the tripod sorry I'll throw this up on the tripod and uh, get the belt on fired up and you can see a little bit of grinding going on so just hold tight Okay, I'll try not to get you in the shot here, but uh, or get into the shot. Let's get the belt back on. Push that down. Just gonna spin it a bit, just to get it close, so the belt doesn't run right off, and also allow me to tighten that clamp because it uh, causes the uh, tracking to change motor makes a funny noise when you turn it backwards. This is a clockwise only motor. Now I'll actually set the tracking when it's running, but this gets her close anyhow. Okay, next step. Spin her around here. Hopefully the noise from the grinder doesn't, uh, grinding doesn't wreck the audio too badly. Just going to plug it in. I just use the standard old IEC style cord like you see on computers. Now this thing won't ramp up unless the speed is turned down all the way. So there, I'll turn maybe a little sideways, maybe like that's a better view for you. So it's got to be all the way counterclockwise. Power on, red lights on. It's going to turn it on slow. Now you can see the tracking is a bit out. I don't know if you can tell from the video, so I'll just bring it in line, like so. Usually the tracking will change a bit as I speed it up. So I can ramp it up good before I, uh, yeah, let me get you tilted a little bit better here. Couldn't see me adjusting the tracking, sorry about that. Better. So as you can see now, I turn this. So you can see the belt moving across the uh, wheel that allows me to set the tracking. Should be pretty good right there. I'm going to throw my safety glasses on and I'll get a piece of strap. And I'll show you how quickly this thing can uh, remove metal from kill. Now this is you can see the thickness, I don't know, what is that? Quarter inch, three eighths, let's see here. That's a chunk of quarter inch plate. I'm going to wrap this up full tilt. One wheel's a little bit out of balance. But full flat. So you can see it's uh, the picking end. See it pretty squared off. And this is 80 grit. Is it 80 or 60? 80. Just a few passes. It's already rounded off real nice. So. And it's oscillating a bit for some reason. So this is new, so I may have to do some tweaking a bit. I've never seen it oscillate like that before. Might have to keep it running at quite, not quite full speed. The way I had to mount the wheel on here, I had a little bit of trouble. So it took me a few tries. Still oscillating a little bit, but of course my arm's in the way.
doesn't take that long. It's a lot better than the grinder. It actually leaves a nicer finish too. Now if I had 40 grit or something, it probably works a lot better. Now like I say, this is a work in progress. Don't know if I'm going to clean all this up and paint it. I just might leave it in a raw state just because I... That way, it's a, it's in a raw state, you know, it's a DIY project and uh, say I'll probably be tweaking it a little bit, but uh, so far I'm happy with it and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh, I'm going to call that complete and move on to uh, some more projects like maybe uh, I've got to make myself or make my son a, a target for his uh, BB gun and that so I'll uh, keep videoing it if you like these types of videos let me know and uh, I'll keep bringing you more so until then take care and talk to you later.